These are the 14 strangest plants in the world. Number 14 Velvichia plant. This plant named Velvichia is known to grow in the hot, dry deserts of West Africa. Discovered by the German botanist Frederick Velvich, the plant has thick, robust roots that grow deep in the cracked, arid grounds of Africa. As can be observed in this picture, Velvichia sprouts only two leaves through its entire 1,500 year lifespan. The two leaves swell to monstrous lengths and when they get too long the leaves become crinkled and crooked deforming into a massive blob of wrinkled mess. Number 13 The Venus Flytrap The Venus Flytrap is famous for having a carnivorous taste for meat. The plant looks like a mouth with teeth and that's pretty much what it is. There are tiny hairs on the mouth of the flytrap which acts as sensors. When a fly or other small bug brushes up against one of these hairs, the sensors will produce an electrical impulse, indicating to the plant that there is food in the reach, whereby its mouth will close shut. The insect trapped behind the teeth of Venus flytrap only has minutes to brush the plant's sensors again, which will reopen its mouth, allowing the insect to escape. Number 12, the baseball plant. The Euphoria obesa is a small cactus-like plant indigenous to the Ray Karu province of South Africa. The obesa is colloquially referred to as the baseball plant because of its small round shape. In the image depicted at the bottom, this plant is shown growing small flowers or buds which are consistent in the roundness of its shape but fall off soon after the plant is in full bloom. Unfortunately, the basil plant is an endangered species because poachers have taken an interest in its unique, compact form, making it easy to harvest and sell to collectors. Number 11. The Shy Plant The Mimosa pudica plant native to the subtropical climate of Thailand is also known as the Shy Plant. Based on its Latin root, pudica means shy. Leaves of this plant are densely compacted together and it's thought as being shy because when touched or shaken, the leaves will crinkle inwards. The drooping or folding effect of these leaves is a defense mechanism used to protect the plant's fragile composition. Number 10. World's Tiniest Plant The Wolfia Angus plant, indigenous to several Asian countries, is considered the world's smallest plant, with individual flowers measuring 1 mm in diameter. Like the Wolfia shown in this image, it is difficult task fitting dozens of these micro plants on the tip of a finger. The plant can be observed floating on the surface of ponds and other bodies of stagnant water, giving the appearance that the water is green. However, upon closer inspection, one will notice that it isn't the water that produces the green color, but the presence of millions of tiny wolfier plants. Number 9. Tropical Pitchers Plant The rare pitcher plant native to warm tropical climates is a species of carnivorous plants known to trick its prey into getting caught in its clever trap. The hollow portion on the inside of this plant is responsible for its pitcher-like shape and it gets filled with water whenever a tropical storm passes. A colorful, attractive nectar on the brim of the pitcher attracts insects to drink from the alluring reservoir of water found in the bowels of the plant. Number 8. Parachute Flower This plant is known scientifically as Corpagia and is a common species of plant endemic to the parts of Asia, Africa and Australia. The plant has been given many names like parachute plant because of its semblance of an unopened parachute attached to the main body by a string. In this image, the plant is shown with flowers having combined on the body, bestowing the plant with an array of beautiful patterns. The parachute plant is often harvested and its seeds are sold to be grown as ornamental and decorative house plants. Number 7. Smelly Orchid the hammer orchid is a species of flower that grows near swampy landscapes in Western Australia. The plant is unusual in appearance and produces pheromones which attract wasps that pollinate the flower. To wasps, the smell emitting from the flower might be delightful, but to humans it smells curiously like raw meat. Perhaps this is an adaptation which attracts only organisms beneficial to the plant while deterring those that aren't. Number 6. The Strangler Fig The Strangler Fig is an umbrella term for a myriad of different species but they all have one thing in common they are all freeloaders. The strangler fig depends on the survivability of other plants or trees for its own existence. The seeds of strangler figs are proliferated by being carried by birds that sometimes drop them into dense canopies of trees. 
If the seed lands near a tree or another plant, the strangler fig will grow by encasing its victim in its gnarled limbs, suckling at its life force for its own benefit. The strangler fig will drain the nutrients from a tree or plant until there is nothing left but a hollow void where the former inhabitant had once resided. Number 5. Silver Torch Cactus The silver torch cactus, which grows at high altitudes in Bolivian and Argentinian mountains, has a very peculiar look. The cactus is covered from top to base with thousands of white thorns, giving the appearance that it's coated in a furry coat. It also grows long pink flowers which protrude out its sides like tentacles. Its uniqueness in appearance is matched equally with its ability to endure temperatures of negative 10 degrees Celsius. Number 4. Hidnora Hidnora is a species of plant that grows exclusively underground. What you see in this image is the flower of the Hidnora plant, not the plant itself. The flower emits an unpleasant odor which smells like feces to humans and attracts beetles. The beetles coalesce in the middle of the flower before it seals shut. The beetles are in no danger however because they are only trapped in the flower long enough for the plant to be fully mature and then it releases its captors into the world to pollinate other flowers. Number 3. Living Stones Lithoplants, native to the arid climates of Africa, are unusual in that they have the ability to assimilate in the form of a rock, deceiving animals into thinking it is an inanimate object. There are several different species of lithops, each of them camouflaging into their rock of preference. The camouflage techniques of lithop plants is so effective that some scientists can't distinguish them from real rocks, which earned them the name of Living Stones. Number 2. Corpse Flower The corpse flower, formerly known as Rafflesia, is a rare plant that grows the largest flower in the world, measuring up to 3 feet across and weighing up to 24 pounds. The corpse flower found in the Philippines earned its name because of the foul odor emitting from it, reminiscent of rotting flesh. Though the scent is repulsive to humans, insects are often attracted to it, allowing this species of plant to proliferate from the seeds carried off by its visitors. Although some corpse flowers are successful in reproducing, it is an on and endangered species list, probably because of the length of time it takes, up to 9 months, for another plant to sprout. Just don't go around digging up these plants for your home garden. They may go extinct and probably smell up your backyard. Number 1. The Elephant Foot Yam The Elephant Foot Yam, which grows in the tropical regions of Asia and Africa, is the most unusual plant on this list. Not only does this plant appear distorted and deformed, but it is also related to the corpse flower, so it emits a similar rotting flesh stench. What the Elephant Foot Yam lacks in smell, it makes up in taste. Yes, this yam is edible. In some tribal cultures, though there are few, consider this plant a delicacy fit for consuming. Other cultures eat the yam only if they have to, meaning they probably don't find it very appetizing. Despite its harsh looks, if you find yourself stranded with nothing to eat but the elephant foot yam, go ahead and give it a try. You might find you like it. 